so this is your phone okay and uh, you know this is your pc right and this is google play store right what happens is that the developer he makes the application right he deploy he puts the application on the play store you download the application from the play store to your phone and from your phone in your phone your application is installed okay now this application is signed with the certificate by the developer okay now you take this the backup of the apk keep it on your machine and when you actually uh, start the selendroid server selendroid server uh, resigns the app okay it resigns the app with its own certificate right and it actually tries to deploy it on the server after resigning it actually tries to deploy the app on the server but what happens is that the app on the server is already deployed with the certificate given by the developer so there a problem comes up so you need to uninstall this app from the server right which is by default uh, installed from the uh, you can say from the google play store and then install it using selendroid once you install it using selendroid the next time when you try to install it using selendroid it will not give you an error okay it will never give you an error but make sure the original app which is downloaded from the play store it is uninstalled so that there is no certificate inconsistency or so right and that's why majority of the people face an issue okay so i talked about a simple architecture of selendroid wherein uh, hold on i just close that page selendroid.io architecture.html where i told you that when you start the server the apk is resigned and when you execute the program the apk it actually gets installed in the phone and also the selendroid server gets installed in the phone and both of them have the same certificate and, and that's how they actually uh, communicate with each other fine and i also told you that you have to make sure that the app which you have installed in your phone from the play store is uninstalled so that uh, the certificate inconsistency is not there right so what happens when you start a selendroid standalone server what happens when you execute your program when you execute a program the app and the selendroid server they are installed on the phone right and again java docs for eclipse and changing the port number right this is important okay sometimes what happens is that when you start your server okay by default the server starts on the port number 4444 okay server starts on port number 4444 you want to change this port number because at times 4444 port number is already occupied okay you can change it you will have to give the command the path of apk file and then hyphen port the new port say 5050 okay this time you want to start the server on this port number you can start it and in the end you will get a message that it's been started on port number 5050 okay and when you try to run your program in eclipse fine you will get an error right by default this when you create the object of selendroid driver okay by default it tries to communicate with the phone through port number 4444 now you have to tell selendroid driver that you have to communicate with uh, with the phone uh, through port number 5050 which is the updated port right for that hold on i'll just go to the selendroid java docs go to google and just type selendroid driver uh, java doc you will come to know this is the client api right and go into frames you can take this api i'll keep it over here fine so over here okay you have this android driver class fine in this class you will see that 
there are two constructors one is simple which accepts the cap capabilities other accepts the url as well and the capabilities so what you need to do is that when you start it you write over here new url and give the port over here like this hold on we used to write like this right localhost you will have to give 5050 over here ok and remove this status from the end only wd slash hub so you need to give the port over here and import the url class as well I have imported everything right so when you run this now you will see that on your phone the app look see that the app starts on the phone Right, this is the sample app for Cylindroid which has just started. Right, and this is how you can change the port number. Fine, uh, and it's quite important. All right, that's how you change the port number. Now there is another thing known as force reinstall. Okay, uh, what is this? Look, the thing is when you are testing with Cylindroid, okay, at times what happens is that your code is running right in between there is any error and driver dot quit it actually was never successful right okay driver dot quit ends the session okay because of that the apk in the phone which is installed the application in the phone and the cylindroid server in the phone which are installed okay both these components right they are somewhat in uh, you can say not in a very good and healthy position they are just there in the phone and they are uh, neither shut down properly now they are started they might be started properly but the shutdown no, no, has not taken place so we use the option of force reinstall over here what do we do is that we stop the server okay we start it and give the command hyphen force capital R reinstall what this command will do this will uninstall both the as the app as well as an android server both of them will be uninstalled from the app, from the phone and they will be installed again right let me show you I'll just maximize my phone over here yeah this is my phone and inside the phone I have this Cylindroid app as well as Cylindroid test app already installed if I start my server with the command force d install right it will start the server fine and as soon as I run the program through Eclipse okay you will see that in the phone this first Cylindroid server will be uninstalled and it will be installed again okay the app is getting sorry the app is getting uninstalled and installed again and the Cylindroid server is also installed okay probably there was a blink in the phone that's why it was not proper and after that the app is launched right so both server and app they both are installed again on the device so that's what force reinstall is and it is very important Okay, at times Cylindroid will give you a lot of issues while working. It's not as good as Appium. So many times you will have to use this option to force reinstall the server as well as app. Right. And now comes the major portion. Which is actually, you can say a defect in Cylindroid or something. Right. Help not able to run all the APKs on Cylindroid or there is a connection reset error instrument failure. For example, right, if I take example of WhatsApp right on my phone first of all if I have to launch whatsapp I will make sure that I have I don't have whatsapp in I have if I have whatsapp installed I'll extract the apk and then I will have to uninstall whatsapp because remember I told you that uh, the app should actually be uninstalled from the phone the app which you download from play store behind the scenes like prior to this recording I had uninstalled whatsapp and I had extracted the APK of WhatsApp over here it is with me 
जस्ट मिनट जस्ट वन मिनट जस्ट मिनट ओवर है और राइट फाइन सो दिस इज द व्हाट्सएप एपी के फाइल राइट आई जस्ट कॉपी इट एंड प्लेस इट अंडर एप्स ओके नाउ इफ आई स्टार्ट द सर्वर विद दिस व्हाट्सएप एपी के राइट होल्ड ऑन If I start the server with this WhatsApp APK, then obviously the first thing which will it, which it will do is it will form the re-signed APK with the new certificate, right? And after that, I go to local host hub status. Just a minute, yeah. Over here you will have the app ID of WhatsApp. Fine, I'll keep the app ID over here. ओके पोर्ट नंबर आई एम नॉट कीपिंग फॉर फोर आई कीप द ओरिजिनल पोर्ट फोर 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 यू कैन राइट दैट ओवर हेयर एज वेल बिकॉज राइट नाउ आई एम नॉट आई एम नॉट स्टार्टेड इट ऑन एनी स्पेसिफिक पोर्ट राइट एंड वेन यू ट्राई टू रन दिस ओके वेन यू ट्राई टू रन दिस होल्ड ऑन it starts running hold on hold on it tries to run and it throws an error instrumentation uh, some there is a some failure instrumentation failed now one apk is working another apk is not working right what is the issue the issue is with selenoid okay after uh, researching a lot i found that issue is with selenoid and the selenoid guys have also acknowledged it to some extent right uh, the thing is when the signing of the certificate takes place in this case in this case when the resigned whatsapp is formed okay it's not signed properly because of that whatsapp fails to launch so these guys they have to fix this issue i as a end user i can also fix this issue right i can create a bat file or a batch file and resign it again as per my own specifications as well but that is a lengthy process so i'm basically waiting for a new version of selenoid in which they actually fix this issue so that this is again a problem you will you are not sure whether selenoid will be able to work with your project's apk or not it, it might not simply launch it okay right and uh, that is the basic problem fine now because of this look i can't help in this right it's made in this way right i've searched a lot and after searching i i came to this conclusion right in fact i actually uh, extracted this thing the whatsapp apk this is the resigned apk right inside it inside meta inf uh, you will find the rsa key from hold on i'll tell you just a minute if i delete this and i ex i already have this present over here uh, re resigned what's app apk just a minute i'll take this resigned whatsapp apk place it over here rename it to dot rar and extract it you will see that inside the meta in folder resigned inside the meta in folder i can see the android rsa android sf key and whatsapp dsa and whatsapp sf key so it's not good this this certificate is not good this, this is from android this is from selenoid and this is from whatsapp both the keys and all are present so probably this is not probably but 100% this is causing the issue it's not signed in a proper way okay so this this defect has to be fixed by your uh, selenoid guys so i have seen that approximately 30 to 40% of the apps which i have tried to launch with selenoid they fail to launch because of this issue right anyways we'll try we'll carry on with this tutorials i'll take up examples on apps which are working right 
and let's continue forward